What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Man, when you... Shit, how do I even start this damn thing? It's like... You have no idea. Actually, well, not that you have no idea. It's just... Yeah, I guess you could... Yeah, I guess I could say that. You have no idea. Like how fired up I was when I made my first sell on the internet. Well, shit, that kind of started a long time ago, but, but recently in the last few years, when I really just went all in, which was 2016, when I went all in and started building a social media agency. And then I tried, diff I tried doing different things like on Shopify. I tried building a Shopify store, like just for a short, super period of time. But, um, it was at that point, it was at that point, which was like 2016, 2016 into 2017, when I was just fired up about now building something online. Because as you know, on my other videos, if you've been following, following me for, for a minute, I've been in the field of entrepreneurship for the past 20 years, right? I built businesses offline. I built businesses online. But it wasn't until 2016 when I when I said when I when I've experienced a ton of stuff. I experienced offline, online, um, building it through leads, building building a business through word of mouth. I experienced so many different types of businesses, and and also forms of marketing since since damn near 20 years ago, right? But in 2016, I'm like, dude, enough is enough. I see the trend. I see where this is all going. I'm going all in, all in with the internet. And so at that point, I started helping other businesses with their marketing, with their social media marketing, and with their, with their online advertising, right? Um, and so in 2017 is when I was like, dude, okay, I got this, I got this whole, or actually, no, not that I had it jam, you know, down packed at all. I didn't, I didn't master it at that point at all. I was just learning 2016, 2017. But I was going after one niche, and that was that, that, and that's the same niche that niche that I focus on today with my agency. My agency is my full time hustle. That's what I do, you know, all day is is bring clients aboard for my social media agency. But as I started it in in this specific niche, I also want I also thought of branching out, and I'm like, dude, okay, so I'm going to offer them marketing services, and then on the back end, I'm going to start a Shopify store, and I'm going to start marketing t-shirts to them and so that's what i started in in 2017 it didn't last long at all because after i started learning shopify i'm like hell no dude like this profit margin sucks like i'm not going to put all this to sell a t-shirt and make ten dollars right how many t-shirts do i need to sell per day to really make a good profit right and so those of you that are building shopify nothing against it but at the same time or just e-commerce in general Nothing against it, but damn, you got to be selling a ton of products, physical products, right, to make any kind of profit. Like, and 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 that's why businesses like Amazon they crush it because they're not making they're they're not they're not and 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 even offline companies like Costco selling physical products, these companies crush it. Amazon, Costco, for example they don't crush it off of the products that you're purchasing. They crush it off of the monthly membership that everyone's paying for, right? Amazon Prime, you're paying for that monthly auto ship. Amazon Audible, you're paying for that monthly auto ship. Costco, you're paying for that monthly membership. They make their money on that back end, right? Because the profit margin on a physical product on the internet is, is not that much. And so long story short, man, the reason why I'm even telling you all that is because I'll never forget when I sold my first t-shirt on Shopify to a total stranger online, didn't know who it was, Obviously, yeah, name, phone number. I got their billing information from a transaction on, on the internet. But as far as that, I don't know who the hell that was. But I remember making that sell, selling a t-shirt. And at the end of it all, yeah, my profit was probably seven bucks. But I got so fired up, dude. I got so fired up. Um, in fact, if you really dig deep and you go back to my very first videos, 
that video is on there. That video is on there where, where I'm starting a Shopify store, where I'm looking in a Shopify. That those videos are on there, but they're just a few because they didn't last long at all. Because I went all in with my agency. I started, you know, crushing it and closing a lot of deals, closing a lot of clients on, with my agency. That was all 2017, and then I just started taking it from there, focusing on that, focusing on that one niche. And it wasn't e-commerce anymore. But I would, I'll never forget how fired up, how fired up I was, man, to start making money online like 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 you have no idea because my whole my whole background comes from entrepreneurship and building shit but it wasn't selling shit it wasn't selling i wasn't although i came across the internet in 1999 2000 2001 what i was trying to crack the code on and with my with, with my business partners my mentors that were around me i had a strong circle of influence um around me where these 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 dudes actually lived in my area. It wasn't what we have today on this online virtual relationship type of building type of shit. It was no, these were friends of mine that actually lived, you know, a mile away from me. Guys that I was growing up with at 19 years old, 20 years old, 21 years old, 22, 23, 24, we're trying to build a business at that time. But what we were doing is we were trying to crack the code on lead capture, on 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 running ads online. And also buying leads from other lead brokers who were running ads online, right? So we were, we, I, w I was more on that side of it all. I wasn't pushing a, a store or an online website and selling a physical product. You know what I mean? Um, and, then, and then after that, into, the, into, into my mid-20s, into late 20s, that's when I ended up crushing it and building a seven-figure business offline, right? Didn't have to do with the internet at all. I had a call center. We were selling software. A partner and I started it from literally my bedroom and grew it into a 50 employee office here in San Diego where people would, would report every day at 9 a.m., right? And, and I had a call center and we were crushing it and we were closing sales and we made a lot of money, just me and my partner, um, coming from nothing, making a ton of money, and then also being so young and dumb losing a lot of money right we made we, we we spent it just as much just as fast as we were making it and we were making it every damn day right just traditional business nothing not online just a traditional freaking brick and motor and that's where i learned a ton of shit man about people about business about numbers about liabilities about overhead and expenses and payroll and we were freaking we, we were giving 50 freaking people 50 of our employees we were giving them all health insurance right it's like dude we blew up so fast it was it was ridiculous we didn't know what to do so that didn't live that it that 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 run was about a four to five year run and then and then after that i was like holy crap dude i don't ever want to do that again like i don't ever want to have to build a business like that again where you have a ton of employees and you have a huge office and 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 you got these huge monthly expenses yes you're making a ton of money yes you can cover the bills but at the same time anything can happen and 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 if you're not smart, which we weren't at that time at all, you'll get eaten up. And we got eaten up. But I truly believe everyone needs to get eaten up. You got to be able to get hit and get right back up, right? You got to be able to get hit again and get right back up. You got to be able to get hit again, a hit again, hit again, hit again. Hit. You need to be able to be hit a million times. And as long as you get up a million and one, you win right? That's, that's the crazy part about life, man. So those of you that are going through your trenches, those of you that are going through your freaking darkest times, I'm telling you, man, when you're going through hell, keep going. Don't just stop. Shit. You, you're going to, what are you going to do? Just stop in hell? Like, no, dude, keep going. Run through that shit. Keep going, man. Because I'm telling you life, this whole entrepreneurship journey it's all about falling down, man. And it's all about who can, who can fall down and get back up. And, and so as I got back up, you know, um, after that run, losing a ton, and then, and then, and that was in 2010, I was done with that business. 2010 is when I get, is when I go into online marketing and also mortgages. And so that was a whole six year run, 2010 to 2016, crushing it in the mortgage industry, um, getting home, getting people qualified and approved to purchase a home. And we crushed it in that we were buying leads from lead brokers who were running ads online, right? 
they would run ads for refinance. They'd run ads to buy a house. People would, would opt in to their landing page. My company, it wasn't my company. It was actually my best friend's company. He's still my best friend to this day, my first mentor. Millions of dollars in mortgages. He still owns that company to this day in here in San Diego. But um, it was his company. But he was he, he brought me under his wings. He taught me everything about the industry, and we dominated. And so um, 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 he continues to this day, continues to buy leads off of people who were running ads online. And so he just feeds his call center. He, he feeds his, he feeds his loan originators, you know, leads all damn day. And so I ran with them from 2010 to 2016, but I was, uh, again, man, I'm an, I'm an entrepreneur, man. I've been an entrepreneur. And so those of you that are in sales and those of you that are, that actually really know sales and those of you that work for someone, right. You can only make so much by selling. Like if you're the salesman, you work at, you know, you work for some company, it don't matter what you're selling. It does not matter what you're selling. If you are selling it, you're a real estate agent, you're a loan originator like I was. You're a freaking, you sell cell phones at the mall. You sell cars. So you got to go to work every day and, and you got a car lot and you sell cars. Um, you could be selling anything, man. You could be selling anything. If, 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 if it takes you there's only so much you can sell. There's only so that, that I'm referring to physical. You're in an office. You're a salesman. You're successful or or not. It don't matter, right? You're either one. Um, but if you are successful, you know for a fact, just like I was, I was successful in sales. But guess what? I was also that person that was in the office for 12 hours a day. I was also the person that was working way more than everybody else. That's why if you, that's why if you catch my pre like old old videos of mine on here on YouTube, I talk about Saturdays. Saturdays were always my edge. I I, I understood the slight edge. In fact, you guys need to get this book. Let me let me grab it. I'm gonna put a link for this book right in the description. All right, you're gonna be able to get this on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link. Um, for this book okay this slight edge man it talks about those little things that you can do that will give you an extra product that will give you extra productivity and completely dominate your competitors like it's the little things like kobe bryant man shout out to kobe bryant shout out to kobe bryant that's a whole nother story um that one really hit me i'm from southern california i grew up a Laker fan. So that whole thing hit me. But my point, up, my point of bringing him up was the fact that it was his work ethic that allowed him to completely dominate. So whether you're a Laker fan, a Kobe fan, it doesn't even matter. If you even understand sports at all, in sports, the person who freaking wins is a person who can outwork out the competitor. Kobe Bryant had the most ridiculous work ethic Michael Jordan had the most ridiculous work ethic. Tom Brady, these elite athletes, the only thing that makes them elite is the fact that they have a ridiculous work ethic. So in my case, in sales, I, I started learning that young, man. And I'm like, shit, if every other Tom, Dick, and Harry in this call center, in this company, in this office, right, no matter what we were selling, if all these other bozos are working nine to five, Monday through Friday, and if this boss, if my boss is telling me that this is sales and I could work as long as I want, what I'm going to do is, and I started doing this young man, and it's, it's, my, it's my ethic today. It's my strategy today. It's my secret sauce today. But I started doing this young where I'm like, dude, if this is sales and, 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 and I can work as long as I want because the boss ain't going to get mad if I close extra deals, shit, he's happy, I'm happy. And, 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 and so I would literally, I learned that young and I would take that strategy and that philosophy and that mindset into any sales office. This is when I was in my twenties, thirties, I would take that into anything I was doing. And I'm like, dude, these people are working nine to five Monday through Friday. I'm going to work 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I'm going to do that Monday through Saturday. And I'm going to do it for 90 days. And that little 
edge, that extra edge that just by putting in a couple hours per week or per day, and I'm going to, and, and, and I'm going to be disciplined. I knew that a ton of people in my call center would smoke cigarettes, right? If you're in the sales industry, what are people doing, man? They're drinking, they're drinking and they're freaking smoking cigarettes. I knew that, right? Some people would come in the next day hungover. I'm good. Some people would have to leave their cubicle they'd have to leave their desk they'd have to leave their 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 office phone their little you know station or whatever they'd have to leave it every 20 minutes because they got to go get a smoke break i knew these things i knew that people were taking a lunch i didn't i ate i ate my food on my desk like i like you guys can go out for for the hour lunch and you guys can go shoot the shit at freaking al torito's mexican restaurant but while you guys are shooting the shit and talking about nothing I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stick to the phone. I'm going to eat right on my desk. I'm going to grab my little salad or whatever, and I'm going to eat it there. And the only time I'm going to freaking get up, I'm telling you guys, this is, a lot, this is what allowed me to crush it when it came to physical cells. But again, I'm telling you all this to tell you, to lead you up to where the hell I'm at now and why even, even crushing it in mortgages and making a lot of money, I still knew there was a ceiling. I still knew that I couldn't possibly do more because I didn't want to own my own mortgage company for one because my best friend owned it. I didn't I wasn't going to go compete with him and start my own thing. No. I wasn't going to do that. So I had to get I had to leave. I had to get get out of the industry because I knew I could only do so much. Even when you apply to the apply the slight edge and you work the 7 a.m to 7 p.m and you work the Saturday, yes, you're going to freaking crush everybody else. But guess what? At that time 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., six days a week, because it physically, and you're willing, and I was willing, because you're willing and, and, and it's going to physically take that effort from you physically, and yes, you'll get a couple more cells out of the damn, out of the damn thing, but you're still going to cap out. And, 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 and the, 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 the crazy part about linear income for all of you salespeople, all of you people that actually physically have to make it happen. The reason why I don't like that and the reason why I left it even after making big, big money doing mortgages and real estate, right, is because I just knew that it, if I can't multiply myself or if I can't leverage this out where, where, where this income can come in without my physical effort, then I can't waste any more time. I have to... Because, because leverage, time is everything, leverage is everything. Why do you think people invest in real estate? So they can park X amount of money and get X amount of money out of it as a return what, without physically putting in effort. Why do people invest in the stock market? So they can make money in the market by putting money in it and have the ability to leverage that Therefore, they don't need to physically report anywhere or physically try to sell anyone anything, right? It's leverage. You're leveraging money or you're leveraging real estate um, or, 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 or you're going to leverage your time. And, and how do you leverage your time? Doing what I did and going to get 50 people to make that sell for you. Okay, well, I did that too, right? That's another form of leverage. That's the ultimate form of leverage is when you can actually own something, you own it and you have people that literally work for you. Those are your employees, right? And when you're doing it offline, that's the model. Office, employees, payroll, all this crap comes with it, man, that you don't hear about, right? Like that's all the ugly, you know, behind the scenes of the logistics and the operations of a company, right? Especially when it's offline. And I'm like, dude, okay, so in order for me to, I crush it in cells. I'm doing 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'm working six days a week. I'm crushing everyone when it comes to income in this entire office. And I'm talking about different offices now, but it's the same damn, sh same shit. And this is how I'm thinking, right? And I'm like, dude, like, okay, so I guess I don't want, I don't want to be a best sales person because being, being, being the number one sales person in your office requires a lot of time. Right. And, and again, man, those of you that are young, that's what you want to do. But as you grow older and as you grow wiser and you start to analyze and you start to look at the game and you start to be like, damn, OK, I crush it in cells. And if I have to, how am I going to leverage this so I can make more? I'm going to I'm going to go start my own thing and I'm going to replace myself with 50 employees. 
That's the most logical way of doing it. That's traditional business, right? I'm telling you, I did it that route. And I'm like, shit, this isn't, I don't have 50 employees. I run an adult daycare with 50 kids. Like, that's how it feels, man. If any of you guys that have employees, if you guys, any of you guys watch my video, man, and you guys have employees, you know that that ain't easy, man. That ain't easy at all, right? And it's like, after I knew, man, that I don't want to have a traditional business, that's why in a lot of my other videos, I talk about it. I'm like, dude, th so now fast forwarding into 2016, why, this, all this is the reason why I went all in with the internet. And, and, and at first it was just starting my agency and, 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 and being able to, to provide my marketing background to a, a different business, right? Another business and, 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 and focus on one and, and bring my experience and my passion and my knowledge from my previous, all my, I, I spent 20 years in marketing and mortgages, right? So it was only right in 2016 for me to bring that knowledge to someone in that industry somehow, some way. And that, that's how I ended up focusing on real estate agents. Cause I'm like, dude, I know the lingo. I know the, I know, I, I, I know where they're coming from. I, I know their pain points. I know what they need. Right. And so that all started in 2016, started reaching out on social media and, and, and offering real estate agents marketing services. Okay. Digital marketing services, social media marketing services. Right. And, and then again, it just started taking off. You guys, I started, I started, I started, I, to this day, I've closed hundreds of clients, first of all. Um, but then I scaled it further, right? I didn't just stop at the, at the done for you services because that's another thing. As I knew, if I were a great salesperson at an office, I'm number one, I'm working crazy hours. I knew I didn't want that. To replace myself, I'd have to go start my own company and go get employees. I did that. I didn't want to do that again. And then I'm telling you, even in mortgages, top producer, making big money per deal, right? Big commission checks, right? But there was only so much time in a day, man, and I couldn't leverage myself. And so that's why, man, 2016, 2017, as I'm building my agency and helping agents, I, I, said, I said, this right here is also a headache because I'm, I'm still in the client services business. And with just me being a solopreneur, I can only help so many people. Like if it's, if I'm doing all the work physically, right, I'm making the, I'm doing the prospecting, I'm doing the, 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 the presentation call, I'm onboarding the client, I'm doing all the services, I'm fulfilling the orders for the client. If I'm having a physically service clients, there goes another question that I, that, and this is what I realized in 2017, 2018, as I'm building my social media marketing agency, right? I'm like, damn, dude, like. There's only so many clients a person can handle. And after experiencing it, I'm like, dude, I don't even want monthly clients. Like, I don't even want that business model. After really learning it and analyzing it, I'm like, dude, hell no, I don't want 50 clients. Like, I don't, as far as monthly, I'm talking about monthly retaining, right? When you do the math, you, you visualize, dang, dude, it'd be awesome having 10 clients per month all paying me 2,500 a month. That would be awesome. But do you know what type of headache that is as well? You, don't, you have no idea. So some of you guys are aspiring to be an agency owner or you're a freelancer and you're out there getting clients. You're out there getting businesses to do their marketing services, to, do, to, to design their logo, to do their social media marketing management or posting or whatever, to run their Facebook ads. Those of you that are visualizing, damn, dude, I want to get more clients. How do I get more clients? I'm telling you. When, when you do get there and you're like at 10 clients a month and they're all paying you a lot, you think that that's a lot. You think that that's what you wanted. But then after that, you're like, damn, I got 10 headaches because it takes a lot to have to fulfill that. It takes a lot. And again, there you go resorting back to traditional business offline, now having to get an office, now having to hire employees. You at least need a couple of them because you're crushing it and you got 15 monthly clients. And they're, pay and they're paying you a pretty penny. It's like, dude, that's a circus in its own. So that's, when, that's why in 2018, I'm like, dude, I don't even know if I want that. Like, why don't I? And that's when I started learning courses. So that's when I started learning knowledge. That's when I started learning how to sell my knowledge. And, how to, and I started learning more about this e-learning industry, this global 
multi-billion dollar trend that was happening online because of online education. People are now selling courses, right? This is where we're at. This is, this is, this is knowledge. This is the knowledge society that we're in now. Um, it's the internet. We learn online. And those of you that, that are an expert in anything can now package that information. You can now package your knowledge and sell it online. And I'm, I'm telling you, this is where, this is where I'm going to try to really get to the point. Okay. So I appreciate all of you guys are, this is a rant, man. This is the rant of an entrepreneur. This is a day in the life. This is what I do. All right. Um, in 2018, I'm like, dude, this kind of feels like everything else. This kind of feels like I'm a top salesperson working for some company. This feels like now my old company that I used to own with 50 employees because at the rate I'm going, I'm going to have to go get employees. I, I started thinking about all this. And I'm like, dude. And then I started having monthly clients and then remembering how much of a headache that can be. And I'm like, 2018, I'm like, dude, like, I don't know if I, if I want that. Like, and, and, and I understand leverage, right? So you're talking to someone who understands leverage, leverage of time, leverage of money, and, and being able to make a residual income. These multimillionaires and these billionaires are not physically putting in their time all damn day. They have leverage. They're either leveraging people or they're leveraging money um, or they're leveraging real estate, right? Um, and so in 2018, I'm like, dude, how do I now get out of this mess? Right? Like, I don't want this type of circus. And that's when I started again, diving into heavy digital courses and being able to take my knowledge, sell it on the internet, but sell it at mass scale. And as I started learning from people and learning from other YouTubers and other freaking online marketers, and, 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 and as I started learning and following these people that were just a few steps ahead of me, I'm like, damn, dude, they're crushing it. Like they are literally selling their course and, and they're selling multiple per day and they're making way more than any random ass necklace that you could be selling online. Any random ass t-shirt that you could be selling on Shopify. Like the profit margin on your knowledge is absolutely insane. And, and, and when you can run ads and when you can really build a niche and you can really build a community and build an audience of people that are really finding value in what you're doing and, and you can learn how to package all that up and, 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 and you can learn paid traffic to start running ads to the offer, right? These ads are running while you're sleeping. These ads are running while you're on vacation, man. And people are, are, let's say, for example, you're driving them to a webinar, you're driving them to some type of presentation, you're driving them to a landing page, right? To get them to register, to get them to watch what you got. So now, so those, those of you that are salespeople, you physically have to sell or you don't get paid. That's why I moved on. That's why I'm like, dude, what if I can't make it to work tomorrow? What if I don't feel good tomorrow? What if I got to pick up my son from school tomorrow, but that appointment that I got to be on because I need to do the presentation because I need to make that commission because my boss is going to fire me. What if, I, what if I have to pick up my son from school and I can't make the presentation? That's the crazy part about sales. So although, yeah, you, those of you that are in sales and you crush it, you crush it because you're good. And, 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 and the, the, the moment you can figure out how to replace yourself, the moment you can figure out how to leverage yourself so you don't have to physically be there anymore and you can automate the entire thing because of this, because of this thing we call the internet now, you can automate your presentation and now you can have that presentation on freaking hyperspeed 24 hours a day, seven days a week while you're on vacation. And people are watching your presentation. Imagine doing your presentation virtually. So as badass as you guys are at selling, imagine recording it and getting that, getting that in front of the right people through paid advertising and getting people to give you their credit card all online automated. Like that is leverage. That is what I highly, 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 highly recommend and encourage every single one of you guys to start doing like start figuring out what you're passionate about start figuring out about what you're knowledgeable in and start figuring out how you can package it all up and sell it that's what the link is down below so digital 
CarCourseProfits.com. That link is below. Read that little paragraph. I host everything on Kartra. That's what I'm mastering right now is cracking the code on my course and, and now taking all my knowledge and just packaging it all up and, and putting a price tag on it, putting value on it and selling that while I'm sleeping. That's how you replace yourself. That's how you leverage. That's how you uh, 100x your income. And that, it, that brings me all to what I'm talking about right here, you guys. My fourth YouTube check. The reason why I'm so fired up, there's a few reasons why I'm so fired up about this, about this monthly check, okay, that, that, that just started coming in the last few months. The reason why is because I understand leverage. I'm literally getting paid on videos that I've done a year ago. I'm literally getting paid on videos on this YouTube channel that I recorded two years ago. That's leverage. That's leverage. When I can put something out, it's like being an author. It's like being a freaking musician. It's like being an artist. It's like being a freaking rap mogul like a Drake where you're putting out all this music and people are streaming it. You're making money literally every second of the day. That's how I look at YouTube. These videos that I'm putting out, I'm obviously trying to bring value. I'm obviously trying to educate a, a, a specific type of person, the type of person who is trying to build a business online, the type of person who's trying to build um, um, some type of, of brand on social media, right? Specific, very niche. That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about on this channel. Stuff that I'm doing, stuff that I'm already day in the life of my hustle, right? Um, and I, I just realized about, I would say, let's just say a, a, a year ago, when I really started taking this even more seriously, um, I started this channel in 20, 2017, but was very inconsistent. I wasn't putting up videos. I didn't know what the hell I was doing at all, really. Um, doing low budget things on my cell phone and just putting the video up. If you go to my very first video, you guys can search it. Go way back, man. Go way back to the first month. Go way back. I have every, There's over 400 videos of this taping right now. There's over 400 videos on this channel. Go back to the very first view. Like, it's like, dude, like, I didn't know what the heck I was doing, but I knew I, I knew what I was talking about. I knew that from day one, online entrepreneurship, that's what this, all, these little rants are going to be about. And so as I started this channel in 2017 into 2018, it wasn't until about 2019 when I really started taking it seriously. Like when I, when I, when I started watching a few of my mentors and I'm like, dang, dude, he's getting paid that much every month from his YouTube channel. Like I started, I started watching a few other people and I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, that could pay for, I started looking at it, putting things in my perspective. I'm like, dude, that can pay for my entire monthly overhead. My personal expenses, my business expenses, that one YouTube check alone. Like I'm looking at my mentors and I'm like, dang dude. And so it wasn't until, it wasn't until about 2019, man, when I was like, dude, this makes too, too much sense. All of you business owners out there that are putting out content, you got to be putting it on YouTube, man. Today, the 21st, today, and, and you guys are probably watching this a few days later, but today's the 21st. This is the email that you get from Google, from YouTube for your monthly deposits, okay? This right here is the email. This right here is my account. Let me hit payments Um, 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 okay. So this right here, man, let me refresh this. This right here is what I got today. Every month, man, I started getting monetized. I started being able to make money from the channel because I finally hit 1000 subscribers at the end of 2019. So that's the whole thing with YouTube. You got to hit 1,000 subscribers or you got to get or you got to get people to watch at least 4,000 hours of your content. And it, ha and it ha all has to happen in a 12 month period. Now, it doesn't have to happen the first 12 months. It could take you damn near freaking five years to reach that number. But I ended up hitting it a year and a half later. Like, again, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I had no consistency with my uploading at all. I wasn't, didn't know about tags, didn't know about a, the, the description. I still don't. I'm going to keep it real with you guys, man. Into 2020, 
I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. But at the same time, this monthly check, what I do know is that it was deposited today in my freaking bank account. What I do know is that my wife just took that card out and is about to spend it. That's what I do know, right? It's like this money, you guys, I am just getting started. Look at my channel, man. I am, I am at, look, it's, these are the, these are the, um, these are the freaking numbers right here. And, and I'll cover that with you guys real quick. Um, but look, man, look how small my channel is, dude. So at the time of you guys watching this video, dude, I don't have a big channel at all. But what I do know is where the power of where this number will go. Look, 1726, man. What I do know is, is, is again, leverage. What I do know is residual income. What I do know is that this money keeps increasing. And that's money that comes in every 21st of the month. And so when I started looking at this in 2019, I'm like, dude, forget about spraying content on all these damn platforms. Forget about that, the advice that Gary V was giving me and giving millions of people. You got to be posting 50 million times a day. You got to be posting on 5 million different platforms. I'm like, damn, Gary, like shit. What you're not telling everybody is that we also have to hire 50 people to do it all for us. It's like shit. No wonder you can put out so much content. But what, I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that the average person is not doing that, but the average person is trying to do something, right? You're trying to put out content somewhere, right? You're trying to post on Instagram. You're trying to post on Facebook. You're trying to post on your Facebook business page where you have 200 likes. You're trying to post on freaking Twitter. You're trying to post on these different platforms to build your brand, right? Whether you're a real estate agent, an online entrepreneur, a digital agency, whatever. You're posting on all these other random platforms, right? When I started looking at the numbers and what YouTube can start paying, and I, I, didn't, I didn't start realizing this till 2019, I'm like, the hell, I, I told myself, I'm the hell, I said, the hell with posting on all these other platforms. I'm more, and, and this is another thing, man. One thing I do take away from Gary Vee is, 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 is him saying all the time, self-awareness. That's one thing that I had, to, I had to learn and I learned. And once I learned, I'm like, shit, I'm going all in with YouTube. Because you have to, you have to know if, if video is even your thing. I was self-aware to know that video was my thing, and it, and 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 I wasn't. I'm no freaking camera person at all. I just said the hell with it. I'm passionate about something. I I know about a certain topic. I know other people would probably be interested in this certain topic. I'm gonna just start talking about it. And 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 as I really took that up a few notches in 2019, you guys, because again, I was looking at what these people were making, and I'm like, dude, if if I just had a fraction of that monthly YouTube check, I'm like, dude, that would cover all my monthly expenses, and it would give me plenty of 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 of, of sanity, and it would give me plenty of energy and resources and 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 money to go build my course, and and not have to really, what's the word, depend on that income right? Because this YouTube check is covering all my expenses. That's what I started thinking, you guys, in 2019. And at the end of 2019, you guys, I finally get monetized. I finally hit a thousand subscribers. I finally hit the 4,000 watch hours. And then it, this is, this is the, um, the breakdown. So in September, it all happened in September. Okay. It all happened in September, but when you start making, and, and here's the thing, I talk about this on the previous video, on my last, on the third, this is my fourth deposit, okay? This is my fourth deposit. But I talk about that where how, I talk about on the previous video on how I didn't even know I was monetized in September, but I guess $42 was generated. I never received an email. I didn't, I wasn't notified about that money at all. And the reason for it is because you have to, you have to reach $100. That's the threshold. So your monthly ad money in order to be paid out has to be at least a hundred bucks. And then they'll write you a check. They'll send you a check or they'll direct deposit, you know? Um, but I didn't even know about that because I didn't, I didn't receive it. And, and then, and then, and then, so, so that happened in, in September, right? That money would have been paid out in October, but again, the $42, that's what carried over to October. So whatever you do in September, that's paid out in October. Okay, so that $42 would have been paid out in October, which I didn't meet the 100 and it wasn't. So in October, whatever happens in October and the previous month, whatever happened in October and the previous month, that's what I was paid out in November. And so that 248, 
that 248 and 42, which was the 291, that was paid out in November. And you guys see me doing a video. That was November. That was my first check for 291. And I'm like, holy crap. To most of the world out there, 291. And at this point, I probably had like over 300 videos up, dude. I'm talking about grinding. I'm talking about seeing the damn thing, you know, through. You, I had to, you have to think that way, man, because who the hell is going to put out 300 videos only for damn near two years later, you see 291. It's like who in their right mind would do that, right? Not many. And that's why not many people are going to start seeing this money. Not many. Because it take, it, in 2019, I'm like, dude, that was my whole thing. I'd probably be further if I, would have, if I was more consistent. So in 2019 is when I started being more consistent. I started putting up more video, more video, more video. And then, and then in November, again, man, I get the 248 and I get the 42. That was paid out in November. That's the video you guys can, you, you guys can see here. But that was 291. And then, and then what I did in November, which was 312. All the ads that are running on my videos in November accumulated 312. That 312, I'm also doing a video on, and that was paid out in December. Okay, that 312. That check, you guys, I'm telling you, man, just 300 alone. You got to be completely lying to yourself if you think that an extra $300 a month wouldn't change your life. And I'm talking to most of you, to all of you in, in, in the U.S. Those of you that are watching my video, shout out to my boy, Naveed. Naveed is always commenting. I think he's in India. Like, I think, he, I think that's where he's at. Shout out to my boy, Naveed. But for those of you that are watching this video right now in the U.S., no matter how financially stable you think you are, I know for a fact, because I know the statistics, I know for a fact that an extra 300 bucks a month would change most of your lives. Just an extra 300. An extra 300, bro, is a, is, is a new car payment. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, yeah, okay, you make freaking 10 grand a month at your corporate job, right? But the extra 300 is the difference between you pulling up in your Honda Accord versus pulling up in a brand new Lexus. Like an extra 300 a month would, would make that happen for anybody, right? And so for those of you that are in another country, in different countries, 300 bucks a month, you're, you're living like a king. So I'm like, dude, I started thinking this in freaking November. I'm like, wait a minute, dude. I'm like, dude, on top of everything else, all the other incomes that, I'm, that, I'm, that I got going on that I'm building, this extra 300, I talk about it, man. I cut a video. I cut a video, dude. I cut a video last month on this, or I think it was Christmas when I cut a video that, that I was talking about how it was, it's all in this YouTube playlist. But I was talking about how that check alone, because that 312, that was paid on in December. So I got that 312 right before Christmas. You know what I did with that 312? You want, you want to know exactly what I did with that 312? I bought my wife diamond earrings for Christmas. Now, were they the most expensive? No. But shit, dude, that 300 went towards it. I mean, that, that was money that I didn't have to take from my paycheck or I didn't have to take from my revenue for my daytime hustle. That was an extra check, man. Now, did I put up the time a year and a half prior? Yes, dude. But once you put up the time, I'm telling you, that's how every investment, I look at this as an investment. I look at this as compound interest. I look at this monthly YouTube check as a long-term play, but also short-term. Because what is a year anyways? Those of you that are putting out content and you're putting on all these other platforms, I am just simply telling you, man, put it here. Put your content here. Start putting out video form and talking about your business and your services here. Because in a year, a year is going to go by anyways, man. Two years are going to go by anyways. And so if you guys want to try to be a Gary V and post 50 million times on 50 million different platforms, 50 million times a day, like... Okay, but all that content that's out there in social media freaking world, I see it, it's in my newsfeed, and then it's gone. I see it, it's in my newsfeed, and then it's gone. It's like, dude, park that content on YouTube because a year's gonna go by anyways. And when you get monetized, I truly believe that you could be monetized in less than a year. 
if I knew what I knew in 2019, when I started my channel in 2016, 2017, I would have been monetized right away if I knew, right? And, and what, what did I not know? is that you gotta be consistent every week. You gotta put up at least two to three videos a week. And you wanna do that for at least 90 days. You wanna do that every, for, for years, but let's just, let's just focus on the first 90 days. The first 90 days that you build your YouTube channel, three videos per week for 90 days. I would say do a video every day, and that's what I'm doing right now. You guys are catching this video in my blitz. I'm literally on a blitz right now where I've done a video every day since December of 2019. So depending on when you're watching this, I'm making this video, you know, freaking February. I'm literally on a four month blitz, December, January, February, March. I am literally challenging myself to put a video out every single day in this short little blitz. Is it a lot of work? Yeah. But at the same time, it's compound interest, man. I'm literally getting paid. Look, dude, look right here. Top earning videos. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Look, dude, this top one. I made this video, you guys. I freaking recorded this video on my ghetto ass computer with a ghetto ass microphone back in. When did this video come out? It was like freaking a couple years ago, man. 2018. 2018. 2018. I'll let that commercial play. I'll let that commercial play. Holy crap, right? 50,000 views. I dropped this video in 2018, man. And I'm getting paid on it every single day. Can you imagine when you have 4,000 videos out? I got, I got a little over 400 right now. I barely started getting monetized, man. So here's the deal. Let me go back to seeing those numbers. Don't even got to look good. I'm still getting paid on the damn thing. So look at this. Let's go to um Yeah, let's go to let's go to analytics. Let's go to analytics. We're in analytics. Okay, look, dude. So as I was telling you, that 312 was paid out in December. This 335 was paid out in January. In January. And this 413 was just paid out today in February. Okay? So this one right here, February 21. That's the one that I got. That's this right here. And that was the check. That was the deposit, man. Today. 413. Let's click on payments. This one right here, man. This one right here came today. 413. And look, man, that that so that was for everything in January, right? That was paid out in February. Where we're at now, dude, look. February, what has been made so far in February, and we're only at freaking, what are we at? We're freaking at, we're at the 21st, dude. There's still plenty of time in this freaking month. Look, dude, we're at the 21st. I still have eight more days. I still have eight more days, and we're already at 342 for the month, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross 413 for sure. So my monthly deposit in March my monthly deposit next month will be more than 413. Every month it keeps going up because I keep putting out video. So rather than posting this content on Instagram, man, when no one cares, rather than putting this on an Instagram story when it's gone in 24 hours, like, dude, put that same fire ass content, put that same fire passion that you got for your business and what you're providing to the marketplace, put that content on YouTube. Start talking about it, man. This is all about personal branding. It's all about building your tribe, your audience, right? It ain't about your logo. It ain't about your company brand. No, dude, it ain't about your freaking broker. If you're a real estate agent, stop branding your broker. Brand you, personal development. And the best way to do it is to throw it out on freaking video and, and, and show the real you, man. The only reason why you guys are here is because you're seeing the real me. There ain't no sugar code and there ain't no freaking, there ain't even no editing. I don't even know how to edit. You're, you're getting the raw, uncut, unfiltered, right? But I truly believe that that's why you guys are following me. You're following me because you, 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 you feel like you know me. You feel like you like me, at least some of you. And you feel like you, tr you trust me because I'm over here dropping knowledge and dropping freaking just golden nuggets for what you guys may be doing, right? Online entrepreneurship. So I'm telling you, man, this is where you guys need to be. This is where you guys need to be, man. This is where you need to be. And this is the fourth. 
So I got my first one in November, December, January, and February. That 413, that's what was paid out today in February, man. And so I'm telling you, that right there, an extra 400 bucks a month, I truly believe that I'll even cross 500. Look, if I go back, I'm at 342 right now, and it's the 21st of the month, right? Is that what it was, 21st of the month? Yes, 21st of the month. So 21st of the month, I truly believe that that money could be over 500. That deposit, it's for sure going to be over 413, but I truly believe it could be over 500. The following month, over 700. The following month, over 900. The following month, over 1,100. That check's going to keep going up, you guys. And I'm telling you, man, th this is from, from content that you're already putting out. Get paid on it. Get monetized on it, you guys. You guys owe this to yourself, man, because as hard as you work as an entrepreneur, that monthly check can offset other expenses that you probably stress out on every single day. Your car payment. You're an entrepreneur. You're trying to make an expensive car payment. Dude, you're telling me 400 wouldn't cover a nice car payment? Hell yeah, dude. So that's why even if you have a full-time job, what are you fired up about? Like you go to work every day as an accountant, but you're really fired up about freaking jump roping. Go put out some content, start recording some videos of you and your freaking neighbors jump roping and start building a channel around it. I'm telling you, dude, that extra check that you'll start getting from YouTube can change your life even on this little ass level. I'll take an extra 413 this month. Are you kidding me? That's my car payment. That's literally my car payment, dude. So rather than me having to stress out and sell some courses or some shit like that, right? Rather than me stressing out having to always close another client, right? Those of you that are in sales, rather than you stressed out trying to meet your weekly quota so your boss doesn't fire you and so you don't get a freaking paid down grade, right? It's like, dude, that monthly check, man, that monthly check can cover a lot of your monthly expenses that I truly believe a lot of you stress out on right now, right? Start a YouTube channel, you guys. Start a YouTube channel. Stay tuned, man. You'll make sure you come back to this playlist on March 21st um, because we'll see where that 342 ends up then. All right, you guys. So over and out, man. Get that content out. Park it here and let's get paid. I'll see you guys on the next video.